Howdy! How's it going? Happy Wednesday! It's that time of week again. Excited to get back to uh, Solar Ash. Always excited for a mushroom hole. That's just me. Uh, I will apologize in advance if I sound a little tired today. I need more caffeine, but I don't want coffee. So, I'm just gonna power through it. Uh, before we get into things, I, again, I need to get into better habit of doing housekeeping. I'm Avery. This is my stream stream on Wednesdays usually. I try to just shoot for once a week. Um, I mostly do this as a hobby, not as a means of any sort of financial income, but support is always appreciated. The biggest way you can support the stream is to share it with your friends. always like to have some more watchers here. But if you want to take the financial route, though it is never ever required, you can always sub or send donations, which gives me a bigger cut of the money. Aside from that, how y'all doing? Weeks have been nice. I hope your holiday wasn't too bad. Hope you're enjoying the winter season. I'm admittedly kind of over it already, but I'll live. Give me one second. First I need to tick something off. I have like a light on the switch because uh lets me listen to it through my but uh, it always makes a little audio feedback. That's why it bugs me if I have headphones on. What is the quintessential pup snack? I mean, you could argue it's a Scooby snack. I think. If you're talking about for me personally, ooh, that'd be hard. Um, probably... Probably chips on salsa, I would have to say. I love me like a... Basic tortilla chips and like really spicy salsa roja. Trader Joe's has this really good like um habanero ghost pepper salsa, and it like it kills me a little bit, but it is so tasty. Probably gonna have some of that after stream actually. Let's get the game going. Uh. Personally, I don't like chunky salsa so much. I don't like having big chunks of tomato. I'll deal with it if that's the only option, if it tastes good. But I prefer mine to be a little bit um, more pureed, I guess is the way to put it. I have a weird relationship with tomato where I don't necessarily like dislike it. I just don't like it in like big bites by itself, like a big cut of tomato or big cubes of tomato. I can't do that. But like. If it's little bits, like a pico de gallo, for example, I can deal. It's pretty good then. Adds a nice little sweetness to some stuff. Stay focused, Ray. You've been in darker places than this. Oh god, yeah. Forgot how just how dark this hole is. Oh! Oh, we got lights though. That's cool. But yeah, uh, enjoy your lurking. There's a door here. Can I get in? This is 
is like a prison almost. It, it looks like a like a cellar of some sort. Uh oh, I need I need some blue stink. Is the blue stink? So that's a gravel pit there, I think. Can't get to it though. I don't know if they're supposed to be like masks, like a Plague Doctor mask, or if it's just like Squidward nose. I think eyes are glowing. Are these actual like people? They're just chilling. It's like statues. That looks. I'm sure that's just decoration, but for some reason, to me, that looks like a pickup. thing here. Yellow stink is up there. So that's our way out if we want to go back. Stuff there. I wonder if all these dudes are just like commuting through the mushrooms, because that'd be pretty neat, I think. I'm surprised they haven't thrown any enemies at me. And I, if I was a game dev, I would totally do that. You gotta fight in the dark. I'm sure they will. It's all just skip. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Well, that was a pit.
Another anomaly destroyed. What was over here? The... It's clearly I didn't have to, uh... Oh, this is, looks like where the red stink is, but it looks a bit... So I went over this one and died. I didn't have to clear that out to get over here. is both creepy and what you think about it. Okay, so I do just have to like take this all the way back. We get to say hi to Pyatt again, our crazy, uh, our crazy theater kid. There is poetry to this place. The reaches of the universe, collected and working in concert, living their eternal rest in harmony. Is this a guiding hand? We came to destroy this void, but I do not wish to destroy a place of such beauty. Those of simple minds are at a junction. Tufty has given up on the start. Gozam seeks to tuck tail and run. They think too small. Our work here is not yet done. I feel like this guy, like, might have betrayed everyone else. And that's why the star seed failed the first time. I bet you that's what happened. I got a little too silly with it. It's over here. This looks important. Yeah, you look like someone I can talk to. Let's go back to that in a sec. I want to see what this yellow rail does. Okay, so that's just the exit. That's what I figured. I want to double check. Alright, we got someone here to talk to. Yeah, I cannot get over how pretty this game is. I'm screenshotting this. Azaric? Lighting all of these candles? Just have noses like this. That's kind of funny. This must be one of the Umbra elders. How does the spore song go? Elders who dream. Oh, 
crepuscular. crepuscular infinity. Part the eternal veil. And enlighten me. Elders who dream in crepuscular infinity. Part the eternal veil. And enlighten me. I am the speaker for the silent. I died 27 cycles ago. My fingers entwined with my beloved's. I am Umbra. You reach out again, but have yet to spread your roots in the heart of another. Don't they know there's no one around to spread roots with? Umbra must engage in communion to achieve diffusion across the great gradient of selves beyond. Wait. You are not Ari. No, you are a soul that stands apart from their oneness. Who loves not but their own ends. Your quest does not concern us. Have you heard of the being called Echo? Can you tell me anything about them? Please, lives are at stake. Curious. I will ask the Silent Ones if they know the origins of the entity of which you speak. Ah, uh, yes, we have seen endless cycles of their fruitless struggle. They have been removed from the cycles of life and death. However, we hear whispers from the ground that they smell of null. You smell of null as well. The Silent Ones can offer you nothing but contempt. I must comfort them. Leave this place. Interesting. This is like the second group of people now who said, Hey, I think you're a little too obsessed with like what you're doing here. Like, chill. It's like, I gotta do this, and then everyone else is like, Girl, you think you're the protagonist? Do you think you're like the hero of this story? Fuck off. Interference detected. Loading oh, the gate back online, Sid. Okay. Close. Definitely appreciate um, the suit, the southern guy's suit. I forget his name. Erwin? Definitely appreciating him for giving me a easier time getting plasma. Oh, 
probably doesn't. I don't think they put it way back here, but still. Oh. You talk to them anyway. Rick? Hello? Darn. about to approach boss fight time here. the time in the ultra void. first area, like the other cat girl, but it seems like she's like been wandering around this place too, so I'm wondering if we'll get to meet her. Way to pass the time in the ultra void. I do appreciate that she likes to grow mushrooms. Hello. <laughs> oh, Arik, you're here again. That was a pretty visceral scream. Is this his house? It's cute. Oh, it's you. What do you do here exactly? I am just a gardener, tending to the mycelium network that connects the void to the infinite beyond. At least, until today. I'm supposed to complete the ritual today, so the eternal cycle can continue. You see that unhatched spoiling? It will replace me, until one day it too completes the ritual. Such is our way. You don't seem too happy about this ritual, Arik. You're leaving now, right? Where are the rest of you? My people are Umbra. Collectors of lost souls in the void. Wardens of the eternal cycle. Only I remain to tend the garden. The rest have joined the mycelium network. I'm so sorry. Your people are all gone? You're all alone out here? We are void natives, not biotics like you. Fungi pushing through the loam to enforce the eternal cycle. Life to death, to life. To defy that is our ultimate taboo. So that's cool. So all these people uh, sprung, f I guess, sprung forth from the mushrooms here in the Ultra Void. So they're like natives to the black hole. I don't think I could ever accept losing someone I loved the way you do. You're leaving now, right? Where can I find the- The keeper is close. In a cave, surround- The tender sits beside a lake of lava. Far from here. A trip across the void. And from there, the Collector is in the graveyard, at the top of the lava ball that feeds the lake. And the antecedent, the eldest of all, well, only go there last, after you have spoken to the others. She sits in a crystal palace, buried deep inside an island in the lava lake. When it is time, I'll meet you there. Thanks, Ari. You're leaving now, right? Sorry to bother you. Okay. Please, just go. 
You know what? This guy sounds kind of like, um... I wonder if he's voiced by Robbie Damon. He kind of sounds like it. I'd have to check that later. Darehold? <laughs> That's a funny. I'm not sure what's in these packages, mm, but I'm glad they're staying wrapped. That's bones. Amber Lee. These look like bones from some weird biped alien. Only has two eyes. That's sad. Humans. Sure. So, uh, we've met one of the elders. By the sounds of it, I don't think there's gonna be a lava lake here, so... We may not meet the other elders until later, later areas, I guess. I guess that's cool, everyone's, like, connected through the mushrooms or whatnot. Deserve that. The greedy and didn't try and kill the squids. I think we're only two caches away from getting pirates soon. That's the first time the squids have ever hit me, also. Spamton squids. Is that what it takes to activate the starseed? That sounds somewhat missing.
tries because I'm going to have to deal with these dudes. Still just like chilling out on its own. Should scan for the remaining anomaly. I've also really noticed, I think I commented on this on the last stream too. The anomalies don't ever like seem particularly aggressive towards you until you like rid of all of these like little waypoints or whatever. Makes you think. There. Am I getting? It's like I have to go in. That's a no touchy. to go fight it up on its like little like Mario Galaxy planet. That's interesting.
closest one, as far as I can tell. Why did he have so much faith in it? This is kind of cool. Looking. I like kind of clownish, like a good way. I do like the little white stripe in the hair. It's fun. Um, yeah. Whoever decided it was okay for Pyatt to be the one to come to like cure the Eternal Guard specifically, I think made a bad choice. any issues with health, so I don't feel particular particular need for this one. I think I'm going to switch back to the, uh, Interference the rogue one Certainly. and be, uh, yeah, do versus suit. Be fast. How can we help you? Max out our shield. Finished installation. How can we help you? I'll get you back online, Sid. Now I have to find the little... There it is. I have to go fight this like frog centipede. Lizard legs. Okay, where is your spot?
what I was thinking, too. These things are, like, not actively trying to kill us. But... So it makes me wonder what the story is with all this. I'm very curious to see how this all goes. of you. You blur together. You've taken no heed of my warnings. See, when, um, initially when Echo was talking about you, I thought she just meant, like, Void Runners in general. Now I'm starting to think she means race specifically. If you could stop me, you would have by now. I cannot stop you, but I can cause you pain. There are many ways to hurt someone. Even more ways to hurt oneself. It even makes me wonder if Echo might be Ray, Especially because of this line right here. Continue down this path, and you will suffer. Like me. Or worse. Their voices do sound very similar. Like a floating spaceship there Ray. and stuff. I wonder if we're gonna. You look exhausted. Are you sure you are feeling okay? I if we're gonna find our spaceship up there. I'm fine. You can stop asking me that. Sorry. You are our highest priority. We were sent here to activate the star seed. And you might be the last chance we have. What we meant to say is we care about you. Helping you is no problem. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have snapped at you, but I'm not doing so good. Everything here is dead or dying. Can't get that out of my head. Sid, I don't, I don't know what I would do without you. Welcome back, Ray. What can we do for you? I found another Void Runner. Irving and his dog, Darb, they're, I think they're dead. Oh no. What happened? I found Irving. I don't understand what I saw. I, he's not alive, but he's not at peace either. It seems like he's trapped somehow. Then our fears were warranted. Our memories after landing here are fragmented, but one stands out quite clearly. He asked, do you think the Veruki did something to deserve this? He wanted to know if our people had done something even worse. We told him there are no metrics for comparing the morality of different planets. He laughed and said, Darb usually hates bots, but you're all right, Sid. We wish he had tried to radio us for help. We will miss him. Something must have gone wrong. Another Void Runner. I found Pyatt's body. Poor Pyatt. We are attempting to recall a memory fragment. Perhaps we are mistaken, but we believe he was exuberant. He said something like, 
The laws of equivalent exchange will set me Excuse me. Right. Hit my headset. I'm trying to put on a cardigan because I'm a little chilly. Yes, that's right. He wanted to know if our processor was complex enough to understand the true power of the starseed and why he came here. We wish we could remember more. True power? Can the starseed do more than just collapse the ultra void? Uncertain. But void tech is a relatively unexplored technology, and despite our best efforts, unpredictable. Perhaps Pyatt knew more than he revealed. That was his way. It is productive to remember. Did our story comfort you? Not in the slightest. I'm even more scared than before. No, not really, Sid. But thanks for trying. We've always got time for our favorite Void Runner. Okay, Actually, I need something else. else. See you around, Sid. Okay, so... Back to the Iron Room. I think we only have two more areas left by the looks of it. I guess this game isn't terribly long. It's definitely been good though. I feel like there's still so much more to go though. Maybe the last area will be really big. Okay, I think the next area is like, yeah, it's up this way. Switch back to Irving's suit. I forgot that we're instantly gonna need to like reform plasma because of every boss fight you just lose a tick, a tick of max health. I will say this area looks fucked up. Like, there's no solid land here. Um, I will say, before we get into the core of this, uh, I think this is a good time for me to take a break. It hasn't been quite been enough yet, but it's close, so... Let's take go to beer. Just a minute. Give yourself a second to get a snack, get some drinks, the usual. Hi. Be back with more Solar Rash and we'll check out what this new area is.
Mikey, I'm back. You know, I've been thinking, I really, I don't know if there's a way for me to do just do it on my computer, but it'd be nice to have like a little volume mixer so like, I could turn like myself up and music down. Because I like, always feel a little awkward just like talking in silence during like a pre-stream, a BRB, or a stream end. I'd like to have like a little music playing in the background, but I always worried that uh, it's going to be drowning me out. Now I'll have to really experiment with my audio stuff. Anyways, we're back. I'm excited to see what this next area is going to be. We haven't gotten the title card dropped just yet. It looks like a mess. This is like a... Was it Dross? Like a Dross fleet? It's just like suspended in the air here. I still gotta keep an eye out for these like elders. Even the, wa even the water here is hazardous because of course it is. Yep. this <laughs> oh this little jump pad it's cute there's mushrooms here too mushrooms that what I can stand on interesting so I haven't gotten a name drop for this place yet It's like a desert almost. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to get up on this cliff somehow. There's definitely something up there. Just don't know how at the moment. Honestly, scared to be exploring this place. This seems like it's just gonna be mirror sea acid Whoa. palaces. That's scary. The cable is frayed. It looks dangerous. Okay, so I can't use them until they are activated. I got it. A little lake over here. I feel like I'm gonna get lost here very easily. Can I get you to break the crystal? Ow. Maybe not. Oh god. That jump scared me. I might have to come back there. That might be something like... Like, a, like an acid immunity thing. I still have to find these other elders. This doesn't look like lava though. Maybe that's later. I, I'm sorry I just keep like standing and looking up. Seriously, this place has got me a little fucked up. the freight cables at all. I guess it's worth experimenting. Oh. I see. This place is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Fuck. Oh my god, sits all the way over there. So I have to get... Up to the ship? Am I just not able to ride on this? Yeah, absolutely not. 
I had to get up to all the way up to that ship to activate that rail to get to the second half of this area. Oh god. Feels like I should be able to get over there somehow, because it looks like there's stuff up there. It's not like a, uh, a cache or anything, but... No. Maybe it is just set dressing. I want to be able to go everywhere. This is Admiral Ames of the FCS Eucalagon. You are interrupting a highly restricted military operation. Please exit the area. Or prepare to be fired upon! Oh? Hold on! I'm a Void Runner. I'm looking for anomalies in the area. Maybe we could work together. A Void Runner? How auspicious! You know about the anomalies? Do you swear fealty to First Citizen Dungeness Pertinax? Sir, yes sir. Fuck yes sir. Um... Sir! Excelsior! A new polywog in our ranks. Meet me on the bridge of the FCS Eucalagon. Double time it! The Philosopher King. Interesting. Oh, this dude is super, like, crap looking type guy. I still haven't finished Lyris' journal. I don't think I'm able to finish RX in a while until I find the other speakers. <laughs> yes, Midnight, hi. Interesting. I still haven't met Terragon yet. I wonder what would have happened if I had said no to this guy. If he would have just actually started shooting at me. Uh, oh no. We're getting over it, aren't we? I'm curious, how did I manage to avoid, like, activating that dialogue? I guess it's just because I saw that lake over there and immediately decided, no, I want to go there. I am glad that Ray seems to be enjoying the bounce pads. I would love to one day experience a bounce pad in real life. I think that just sounds pretty fun. There's stuff around here. Or I blow through this. Is this a rail back down? Interesting. Nope, come on. 
we're just slowly making our way, setting up our checkpoints. Shot the bounce pad. Woo! Overshot that one. I think it'd be kind of funny if you like fell from high enough, you would like fall all the way through the clouds. Maybe from a gameplay standpoint that wouldn't be so good, but should be safe to grind now. I don't know. I can dream. So I, it's not that I can't even be in the water, it's I cannot be over the water, because that's dangerous too. That's a little spooky. like the way forward, so maybe it's over this way. my theory at the moment. The uh, star seed is what causes to all the other void runners. It like put them in this weird you know like between life and death state. So they're like kind of stuck at the moment it activated or something like that. And maybe that's what happens to Raid too, which explains the presence of Echo being in that same sort of state. I don't know. But I am 100% that the star seed is responsible for Echo in some way, as well as the deaths for, excuse me, the other Void Runners. this segment for being forgiving that you don't necessarily have to land on the um, pla the uh, rails. You're allowed to land on the platforms and still be okay. Oh, let's not do that. Just next way up. 
bitch, I'm here. Looks like it's on the fritz. Grimclaw's special brew. Dude is so goofy looking. I love him. Snail motherfucker. Hmm. You're a little short for a Crestorian guard. No matter. I am sure you will be a perfectly adequate scout. I carry with me some grave intel. We had been on a mission to tactfully acquire resources from neighboring planets when we returned home, or at least where home used to be. All we found was this treacherous void. This is such, like, a silly character to have in, like, this weird area. My help. Initial scans show no signs of life, but we received a distress signal. Our first citizen, our guiding light, Dungeness Pertinax, must have helped everyone escape or find safety. But we can't locate them. They have gone missing. I have dispatched four highly skilled away teams to find them, Unfortunately, the away teams have also gone missing. I fear they have crashed due to the unpredictable gravity and anomalies in this cursed abyss. You want me to... We must find the first citizen. They would have done everything to ensure the safety of our people. For they live a simple life free from greed and full of wisdom. Truly, they are the only one fit to justly rule over the kingdom. I need you to hit the silt and find my away teams. Recover their intel. Help me ensure the safety of First Citizen Dungeness Pertinax and all of Cycladoria. Yeah, this guy's extremely motherfucker type of dude. I am curious though. I just remembered something. We still haven't found the key for the um the Iron Root Basin. And I'm pretty sure Cirrus is the one who has it, because she mentions it. So I wonder if we have to find wherever her last location is to see that. Curious. We'll have to see if she's in another one of these areas. Because she was in the Iron Basin as well. Maybe she, there's one more there and I haven't seen it. Uh, I just really want to- don't want to hit like a point of no return in this game and not be able to. I guess I'll just like, not fight the last boss until I find what I'm looking for. Switches. Okay. Um. Am I supposed to just go across there? Huh? different places based on where you hit it. Nice. Interesting.
Okay, that's nothing, I guess. I just had to like tank it across here or something. What it means if I get like super fully irradiated. Probably just hurts me if I had to guess. some stuff over there. This looks like things over here. So how far does this go? Far enough. This music reminds me a lot of, well I guess this whole area reminds me a lot of the, um, the East Zone in Hyperlight Drifter. It has that sort of vibe to it. Looks like the way forward. I think instead of the other way, I guess I have to pick. Uh, I want to go back up here. same place. Not entirely. It is like a split path almost. Just there's a cache over here by the looks of it. Uh, I don't want to deal with that to be honest, but I kind of have to I think. Here, so I don't have to like fight all the, the, the goo. Please. I got one of them. I get you. If I have to.
this way. It's a shame this game came out, like, so late in 2021, because now I can't say this is my game of 2022. I just realized there's like just a pair of boots here. Oh, this dude like took off all his clothes. I see. I love that they're just all like um, all us themed. Luckily, we landed near the healing hot springs of Oblantis. We can all soothe our wounds here. Oh, um. Yeoman Roe claims their instrumentation has detected a slow and steady increase in the acidity levels. But the crew and I all agree it feels great, and I ordered Roe to jump in with us. Interesting, so all this acid used to be water. This must be one of the away teams. I better tell Ames. This is a waste of time. Rest easy, Lernea squad. Right to the Ukelagon. Glorious. Well, um, I think they dissolved. No. My they found a glorious death in the name of the Empire and will be immortalized in song for ages to come. Hopefully, these will be the only lives it costs. Please, hurry to the others. I will. It's just an army of dumbasses. Yeah. Okay, so this is the other way. They all do lead to the same spot, looks like. That shield being there has me highly suspicious there might be something behind this waterfall. Let me see if I can find a checkpoint before that kills me, because it's probably going to kill me. But what if it doesn't? Please tell me there is a checkpoint nearby. I don't want it to backtrack all the way here. Where 
where's the last checkpoint I even hit, actually? It's right there. I mean, I guess it's not too bad. If I die, I can probably make it back without too much trouble. Oh, there's nothing. There's nothing. Okay. Why did they put that shield there, though? That makes it seem like there's something there. God damn it. I'm just sad. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, there's a few other ones, I see. They will not leave the ray alone. All the enemies have been coming so far, those spike spitters are probably one of the most annoying. Are they gonna follow me up the hill? Or am I just killed them? Someone needs a lesson in cable management. See, I just declined the goo there, but there's a lot of enemies. That's the issue. Go for it anyways. I need to upgrade my max health then again anyways. These little guys are like deceptive, because I always feel like they're like not a threat until they like hit me instantly, and then I'm like, oh god. Uh, even without a uh, Irving suit, we're still only like uh, 1k away from our upgrade. Is there anything here? This might just be so you see the, um, the cache over there. Got a sword. That's badass. That remnant, it's it's familiar. Like I saw it in a dream. I'm excited to see what this guy does. Let's get you back online. Critical systems offline. Interference detected. Loading emergency services. I'll get you back online, Sid. I might actually want to use Piat's thing here, but I guess we'll see. I will say, now that we've got Sid, we've got our fast traveler main checkpoint. I think that's gonna be it for today. I know it's not as long as the LS stream, but I am a little tired today, so I think I'm gonna call it there. As always, I'm excited to get back to this game. It's so cool. This really has been like one of my favorite games. Definitely a very, very good second game from her machine. I really want to know how it ends, so definitely be here next week. I clicked the wrong thing. Thank you for
you for stopping by, y'all. I am very excited to get to this next week. Uh, I can't make any, any guarantees. I may do a guitar hero stream this Saturday. We'll see. Uh, if I do, I'll make a post about it. For now, I'll see y'all around. Enjoy the rest of your day.